Good afternoon, everyone. It is I, Patrick, live on the 101. And I feel like ranting a little bit today. First of all, off topic a little bit. I saw the Republican debate last night. What a pile of crap. Three hours of what they're not going to do for me, but what they can do for themselves. All these fools are idiots. I don't even think any of them are electable. Everyone knows I'm a Trump guy. You know, he was kind of passive about it last night. Hillary won't talk for crap, so she's, you know, she's probably going to get arrested anyway, and Obama's going to have to save her ass with an executive order. But no one said, hey, I'm going to do this for the people or this for the people. It's all like, I did this and I did that. I, I'm tired of politics. These guys are all fools. What I want to rant about is a little nine-year-old kid out of Irvine, Texas named Ahmed Muhammad. So all this kid does is builds a clock out of a pencil box. I can't even get a damn pencil box open, let alone build a clock inside of a pencil box. Kid's like some super genius guy, does great in school. His parents come from the Sudan, want to give their kid, their family a better life, drag them over here. I don't know why they went to Texas. I mean, Texas and the Sudan, I've never been there, but I got to think that they're like complete opposites. But anyway, so they end up in Irvine, Texas. Kid builds this clock out of a pencil box, takes it to school, and gets arrested. They have this ass clown teacher who calls the cops because they think it's a bomb. Just be, talk about racial profiling. This is stupid. So then they arrest the kid, find out it's not a bomb, but they keep him locked up. And you know why? For bomb hoax. This kid's nine. It's not like he's wearing a flak jacket with all sorts of wires and C4 strapped to it. He's proud of his achievement. I bet no other kid in that class could have built a clock out of a pencil box. And now they're going to charge him with, with a hoax bomb? No wonder we suck compared to the world in, in, in all things education. We're like 85th in the world in literacy, and we're like 75th in mathematics, and we're like 35th in science. I mean, we're probably not even number one in English, and that's our language. And you know why? It's because of ignorant bitches like this stupid teacher in Irvine, Texas, who probably can't even count to 20. But you know what? Oh, my God. The Muslim kid brought a clock to school. He's going to blow us all up. Lady, you're a fucktard. And then to have the chief of police continue the stupidity by charging this kid with a hoax bomb? Are you kidding me? Are you just trying to get 15 minutes of fame like that idiot Kim Davis in Kentucky? A hoax bomb? Don't you have better things to do like grub donuts and guzzle coffee and write tickets so your municipality doesn't have to tax the crap out of people. I mean, I know some guys, I have some friends that are that are law enforcement officers, and they're really sharp guys, and they wouldn't even do this thing. A hoax bomb? Is it, Did you just make that up? I mean, come on, Irving, Texas. You got stupid teachers and idiot police. You arrest a nine-year-old, and now this kid, I wouldn't even want to build anything again if I was this kid. In fact, I would move out of this country and go to a country where I'm appreciated for my talent. This is stupid. No wonder the world hates us, because we're all ignorant idiots. Well, not all of us, but I mean, there's enough of us ignorant idiots, and I say us as Americans, that make the world hate us. I've traveled the country. I travel the world. I travel the world as a Canadian. I walk around, hello, eh? Yeah, I'd love to have that. Take off, hoser. Because every time I tell someone I'm American, I get like a stupid look, and then I got some idiot in France spitting in my food. This is bull crap. Guys, why don't we just take a step back in reality? Not every Muslim is is a terrorist. I've been to the Middle East. Most of the people there are nice. I mean, they have their fair share of assholes, just like we do. I've been to New York City. They have more than their fair share of assholes. I think there's more assholes in New York City than there is in Istanbul. Just because a guy doesn't like you, or is not like you, doesn't mean they're a terrorist. Come on, America. Get your shit together. Maybe we, you know, you want to lead the world so bad? Why don't you lead the world through peace and loving and forgiveness instead of stupidity? Because that's how we look. Stupid. All right, that's all I got for today. Thanks for listening to me rant and rave. Sorry it was a little short, but I've got some other things that i got to take care of. Have a nice week. See you around. Peace!